Okay, so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and make the button blink quickly if it's not being pressed and and we'll make the button blink slowly if it is being pressed. So we got rid of some of the code and we added this. If button state is equal to high, that means it is not pressed. Remember when it's one, high is the same as one, that means it is not pressed. And if it's not pressed, we go ahead and now we use digital write. Now you remember, we're able to use digital write on the LED pin, why? Because we set the pin mode of the LED pin to output. So output means we could use a digital write. Input means we can use a digital read. Okay, so digital read on the button pin because that's set as input and digital write on the LED pin because if you look here it's set as output. So if it's, set, if it's high, it means it's not pressed. We go ahead and we make it go high, delay 100, make it go low, delay 100. So this will be delaying it by 100 milliseconds. That's quick, tenth of a second. Else, if the button state equals low. So that means if it's being pressed because it's normally high because of the pull-up resistor. But if we press it, it's going to go to it's going to go to zero, which is low, and we go ahead and we delay it by 500 milliseconds, which is about a half a second. It's a half a second, and uh, if we go ahead and run this simulation, you can actually run yours. You'll notice it's blinking quickly when it's not being pressed, and if we press it, it's much slower. So that's how you do a very simple if statement based on the state of the button. Next, we're going to do something where the button will stay on if it's clicked once and it'll turn off if it's clicked again if it's already on. So we'll discuss how to do that.